He's digging through the bin. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shiloh here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. We finally got the toddlers under control since the last episode when I had my little meltdown. We've also added some gnomes for each of the triplets because a lot of you guys reminded me in the comments of the last video that I kind of forgot to do that. So we've got a yellow one for Walt, a blue one for Draco and a red one for Maximus, obviously. I've also given Luna a little bit of a makeover. This is her daily outfit. We've also got this futuristic looking formal wear, some really freaky looking workout wear. Of course, her little space pajamas and I thought this formal wear just looked kind of cool because it kind of looks like she belongs on a spaceship. So that is Luna's new outfit. We've also given Luna a brand new bedroom. Ta-da! How cool is this? It's very blue and space themed. We've got a little space rug and some space artwork. We've also got a little bear hamburger which is not really space themed but I just thought it was freaking adorable. Oh I wonder if they have a better lamp. Okay it doesn't look like there's anything spacey unfortunately. Ooh, this one gives the room kind of a green glow. I like that. That's very spacey. Good, good, good. Now, today I wanted to actually do a birthday party for the three triplets. It's time to age them up into kids so that they can take care of themselves and get on with their lives and stop annoying me. So I've made a bunch of cakes to put in my inventory so we can take the party somewhere. All we have to do is plan it. So I'm going to choose a birthday party. I'm going to make Maximus, Walt and Draco the birthday sims and I'm going to invite Apple, Luna, Snow White and of course Akira, can't have him miss it. And we will have the party at, ooh, a bar? How about a bar in the desert? <laughs> a cafe maybe? Ooh, the pool, we could have a pool party. Let's try a pool party. That could be a really cool. Ooh, look at everybody. Some people have come dressed for the pool, others not so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is going on over here? <gasps> a levitating child. Look at that. Oh, that is terrifying. Hang on a second. Oh, she was just mid dive bomb. That makes so much more sense. Okay, let's get everybody in the pool, having some fun. Luna can get in. I don't think the toddlers are allowed to swim yet. Nope. So we'll just have them sit on the chairs and we'll have to make snow add the candles to the birthday cakes. Hopefully nobody steals the cakes before I do that. Don't you dare eat my birthday cake. Ew, why would she skinny dip? You can't skinny dip while there are kids around. Think about the children. Okay. Oh, we should test out this. I want to see how majestic Apple is when she dives in. Wait, she just went swimming in shorts. Actually, I think she's going to land on top of that child. <gasps> Well, that could have ended a lot worse. Okay, we should probably age up all the toddlers so that they can actually get in the pool with us because it's kind of cruel just making them watch. So let's help Draco blow out the candles first. Wait, where is he? What's he doing out here with all these children? <laughs> Excuse me, children. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what he looks like as a child. Oh my goodness, what is he wearing? Well, let's pick his aspiration first. I'm gonna go for Wizkid. I'm gonna make them all Wizkids since they're all triplets. And then we need to pick a bad trait. So, since he's Draco, I'm obviously gonna have to choose evil. So let's see what fashion choices Draco has made as a child. <gasps> I love it. Draco, you look fabulous. His daily outfit is not quite as cool. That's a little bit boring, Draco. We'll have to get you in a Hogwarts uniform, okay? Okay, now let's grow up Walt over here. Yay! There are loads of kids here at this pool. This is perfect for a kid's party. Okay, let's make him a whiz kid as well and then give him the bad trait of... Ooh, kleptomaniac. These sims don't mind borrowing things from others with a simple swipe. Ha! <laughs> We're basically turning him into a thief. Now let's not leave Maximus behind. We have to age him up as well. <laughs> Again, making him a whiz kid and then giving him the bad trait of... <gasps> Ooh, lazy. Oh, wow, very red. Let's see what his daily outfit looks like right now. Oh, look at them all. They all look so classy. Well, we need to change that, don't we? Need to make them look ridiculous. Okay, now they should all be old enough to be able to get in the pool. So I'm just going to make them all jump in one by one. Do a cannonball. Oh, he's going in. 
He's going in. Oh wow, that's a big splash for such a little child. Oh my gosh, he's gonna jump right on top of Walt. Look out, uh oh, he's doing a backflip. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think everyone's pretty fed up of the pool now. It was a nice idea, but turns out it's just a load of water and there's not actually that much to do. Everyone should have some cake. Everybody get some cake. Oh my gosh, she's running for that cake. Wait, hang on, who is starting arguments in the pool? Don't you know I'm a birthday boy? You can just get out of here, I'm gonna insult her. Draco's pretty evil anyway. Can we splash her? Yes, splash her. Splash her! <laughs> Feels good to be evil, man. Oh my gosh, Walt can steal the cake? <gasps> Let's try it. Oh wait, hang on a second. What you doing, Walt? Um, that's not normal. That shouldn't be humanly possible. Oh, there we go, we've fixed him. Phew, I thought he was gonna be stuck underwater forever. Okay, oh, <gasps> okay, that's not good either. Stop swimming. No, I just want him to steal the cake. Here we go, he's gonna steal the cake. Ooh, he got it. I think it's time to leave, and hopefully when we go home, he's not still swimming in the ground. Let's go home, everybody. Come on, people, clear out. Well, I would call that a pretty successful party. We now have three children instead of three toddlers. Everyone is back home now, still in their swimwear. Well, that's cool, we're just gonna chill in our swimwear. <gasps> what are you doing? This is Luna's room, get out. Oh wait, we also need to make over their room because they have toddler beds. I'm gonna move them up into this bedroom up here. Okay, I've changed the shape of the room a little bit. No big deal. Now I'm just gonna change the colors of their beds. Oh, these beds are so gross, they're so ugly. Ah, oh, well, we'll just have to make everyone claim one. Wait, he can order stuff online? Oh, he can order fireworks? Oh, children should not be allowed to order fireworks online. They're in his inventory? Oh my goodness. This seems really unsafe. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop, stop. What if he sets fire to things? Stop. Oh no, he's put it down. What if he sets fire to the table? Oh, oh gosh, I can't pick it up. Oh my gosh, if there's a fire, oh thank goodness. Okay, that was very silly of me. I can't get rid of it now. Even the adults can't get rid of it. Well, we never tell anybody about that, okay? Okay, so now that we have no more toddlers, life is a little bit easier. I think we can start focusing more a little bit on Apple. She's feeling flirty. I have an idea. We should see if we can get her a teen boyfriend. I wonder if she made any friends at school. Oh, she made enemies. Oh, how about this guy? Okay, he is the only teen around, so I'm gonna send him a flirty text. Oh, this could either be really good or really bad. Well, he didn't reply yet. Maybe he didn't get the message. We should just send him another one. Hopefully he replies this time. <laughs> well, he hasn't asked me out on a date yet, so maybe he's just not getting these texts. Uh-oh, she needs to pee. She sent such a flirty text that she now needs to pee. Oh my gosh, get out. Let's send another flirty text from the toilet. Cause nothing says I fancy you like texting while you're peeing. Ugh, <laughs> notice me senpai, why is he not responding? Send a playful text. Oh my gosh, <gasps> he replied. He said, let's get out and have some fun. Let's go. Ooh, this is nice. Oh wait, hang out with friends? No, this is supposed to be a date. Ugh, fine. Wait, why did I decide to flash crazy eyes? That's a terrible first impression. Okay, good, he took it well. See, we are getting along so well. But why has this guy decided to join us? No, thank you. We are going over here to eat some burgers. I'm gonna show this man that I can cook. Do you not want some food, dude? Why is he still talking to that guy? Come over here. Okay, Apple's had a snack. She's in a much better mood now. Let's go back over there. Okay, can this guy just go away? Seriously, get out of here. Go away. Get away from my man. Oh, thank goodness he left. Okay, now we can start with the flirting. Oh, let's ask if he's single first. Uh, he is. Good, good. Then in that case, I will do a flirtatious joke on you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what kind of joke did she just tell? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, where's he going? Why'd he walk away? He's running away. He's running away from me. Okay, this is good. This is good. <gasps> Let's try and snuggle. Hey, this is going well. 
and this dude's just sat watching. It'd be really cool if he went away. <laughs> Can we do our first kiss yet? Wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where? He's running away. Why does he always do this? No, come back. Oh my gosh, I thought he just went to throw up in the bin. But no, it's worse. He's digging through the bin. What? My heart is broken. Ew, why did he do that? And now he's running back. That was really, really weird, dude. You don't just do that. I'm still into him. Somebody's gotta take me to prom. Well, apart from the bit where he dug through the trash, that was a pretty successful date that wasn't really a date. But he is definitely a potential candidate for a prom date. So, at least there's that. So while Apple recovers from that date, I'm gonna have everyone finish off their homework and Snow White can actually start on this mural again because if you didn't notice, it rubbed off. So I'm really sad about that. It was a cultural mural last time. This time I'm going to do a nature mural. And as we know, it takes like three blooming days to complete, but it's worth it. So unfortunately, we don't actually know any other teens. So I'm gonna just have to send Apple out into the world and try and find some. You know, I'm not just gonna settle for the first guy that I see. Especially because he digs through the trash. We need to get her ready for a date. So let's put her in her... Hmm, that's not really a date outfit. I'm gonna have to get her a new outfit. Okay, definitely not wearing that on a date because that is her pajamas. Let's see. Okay, so this is her first party outfit. We can give her a second one. Oh, how about this sweater dress? There we go. Okay, that's quite a cute date outfit. A little different from her other outfits, so... Ta-da! Oh, perfect! And then we're going out. Let's try and find somewhere where well, there will be loads of teens. <gasps> I know! The city! Let's head to the arts quarter. Oh, uh-oh, there's nobody here at all. Awkward. Okay, where are the teens at? <gasps> is that a teen? Oh, gosh! Wait, hang on. Who is that? Ew! What on earth am I looking at right now? Why are there so many disturbing people in this world? <gasps> over there, there might be some teens over there. Go, 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 go. Oh wait, she's a teen. I mean, she's okay. She's not that great. Let's give her $10. $10. Okay, she has walked away. Never mind. Didn't want to talk to you anyway. This guy is around and he's freaking me out. Okay, are there really no teens around? Why are there so many colorful people in this world? Look at that. Okay, let's go grab some food before I die of hunger. I can't believe this guy's still here. Why does he exist? He's so weird. Apparently it's a lot harder to find a man in this city than I thought. Okay, I think I have the perfect plan. So Apple doesn't know any teens, but Snow White does. So if we can just invite some of them over, then one of them might be interested in Apple. I know Wolfgang is a teen. I think that's it. So Wolfgang, you are our only hope. Okay, he said he'll be right over. So let's have Apple greet him at the door and then whisk him away. Oh my gosh, he looks so angry. Why? Let's calm him down. This is a terrible, terrible start. Oh dear. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go pee. Oh, now there's an angry dude in my house. No! Oh my gosh, he's horrible. Go away. I don't like him. He's shouting at my dinosaur. How dare you? You better leave this place. Okay. He's just gonna storm away. Well, that was also a disaster. It looks like Trash Guy is our only hope. So let's go on that second date with Trash Guy then. As a queel dooley. <laughs> and we will take him to... Ooh, what's that? The ancient ruins? How romantic. Let's go. <gasps> Butterflies! How sweet and romantic. So our main goal is to socialize. I've gone for the hug. I probably shouldn't have gone straight for the hug. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Now we just need to get a little flirty with him. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, where are you going? Where's he going? He's going for a run? He's going for a jog. What is it with this guy and running? Let's just sit and talk, dude. Oh my gosh, look at her dress. <laughs> okay, this date has turned into something really weird with loads of people. I don't understand what is going on. Okay, he's run off again. Why does he always do that? Excuse me, I gotta go catch my date. <laughs> Come back. Esquil. Oh no, this is going so terribly wrong. Oh, stop. 
he doesn't like me. I've ruined everything. Let's just set something on fire. <sighs> oh, we can cozy up by the fire. Aw, this is nice, see? Oh great, this guy's here now. You're ruining the romantic vibes. Okay, now she's stinky. Oh dear. Oh, and he just farted. They are perfect for each other. Why won't this date work? Yeah, you like this? You like that stink? How embarrassing. I'm actually visibly stinky. I just want this date to end, to be honest with you, because this has been awful. Okay, worst date ever. Time to run home. Why is it so hard for the women of the Disney family to find a freaking partner? Well, hopefully we can find her a date before prom because I really want her to go to prom with somebody. So that is it for this episode of the Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video and I will see you next time.